What's up guys? We are out on the checkpoint AL3. We'll do a quick ride on it and then we'll have a look at it and check out what the differences are. So it's gonna stay inside the city. It's ripped around in its back streets and try and get some kilometers in. The AL3 and any with the checkpoint line are really made to go anywhere. That lower bottom bracket along the wheelbase makes it really ma manageable over bumps and rough stuff. Just means your wheels are always on contact with the ground and you never feel too tippy on it. mountain bike gear on right now. Loose fitted shorts. That's kind of a nice thing about the gravel bikes is you don't have to dress so serious. We're turning a lot more than we normally would on road bikes. Taking shortcuts.
five insects, too many bugs. Big climb. Uh-oh. Hope we don't come back down there. It's into a lead hole. And, oh, okay. signs I'm just going a little fast to read them and normally on a road bike I ride a 56 but on the AL or on the checkpoint I'm actually on a 54 and find it really comfy guys that's 42k part of the trek century challenge we'll finish up the review tomorrow with the checkpoint uh, yeah so let's just uh, snap that Okay, what's up guys, it's Chris again. We're looking at the Checkpoint AL3 today. It is crazy windy. So let's hope this microphone works. So we're doing a ride today here on the AL3. There's no way you can hear me. So I might just have to overdub this again. So what I like about the Checkpoint series is they have three frames. They start with the AL series, then they jump up to the ALR, and then to the SL carbon level series. AL is the entry level frame in all three series. It comes as a pretty good aluminum frame, 200 series. You know, there is that slightly better one with the ALR, which will make it lighter, I guess stiffer. But it still has a carbon fiber front fork, disc brakes, and a good gear set to match up with gravel requirements. You do get set up with a cable disc brake here instead of the hydraulic, which you can go to on the next level. Sora, part spec, crank, cassette, everything's matching, which is nice. I normally ride a 56 in road bike terms, but with the longer and lower design of the checkpoints, I've actually switched to a 54 in Trek and I find it very comfy. And with the AL series, you actually get the Bontrager R1 700 by 32 tires on it. So instead of the actual gravel specific GR ones, they are just putting the beefiest road tie they have. It is a hard case light, so it's lightweight, but it is not tubeless ready. They do match the AL3 with the Affinity tubeless ready rims. You could quite easily switch out the tires to the GR ones with the tubeless and get it going with a bigger setup. I personally enjoy the way this feels. Um, it's fast for city commuting, entry level road biking, and you can gravel bike on it. 
I have rode the ALR5 and it too is a little bit softer just absorbs the bumps a little bit more but the 32s do take a bit of a beating and they hold up pretty well themselves so we will head back to the shop tomorrow and we will look at the ALRS series and we may have an SL but I'm not 100% sure so let's skip forward there Okay, so we're checking out the new ALR 5s. We have two of the colors here, plus one of the older colors, and we can compare the two. So the new ones, they have improved. They've gone to the GRX crank set and shifting, which is nice. Looks a lot cleaner for the gravel bikes as opposed to the older 105 with essentially pointless plastic on the end of it. Well, the hand grips have improved with more texture for grip and same with the brakes. I changed the seat for this year so they go to the new, the new Bontrager Versa seat. So a little better shape. It looks like a more budget Aeolus. It's a little more cut to it, a little more drop to it. So it should be a comfier seat um, than potentially the stiffer Montrose, um, especially for the off-road use of things. Same tires, but both really nice color schemes. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment if this kind of video you like. I will do a video on the Czech SL series as soon as we've got one in. I'll do a dedicated video to that.